Hey, hello, welcome once again. This reflects in this one once again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to color grade this picture. I won't be retouching for now, I'll only be showing you guys how to color grade it for now. So, I won't be making use of any preset, I'll just be showing you how, how you can use your camera real to color grade picture very, very easy and straightforward. So, in the next video, I'll be showing you how to retouch this particular picture I have over here. So firstly let's do the color grading and in the next video I'll be showing you how I did the retouching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you have any question you can just contact me, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. This po this picture was also given to me by Seba J brand. Uh, he gave me the picture to work on so I decided to do a tutorial on it. So now let's start. Uh, something about Photoshop is that camera real especially camera roll. you can actually do many things there what you can do there you can retouch your picture but you can color grade your picture here so you see fit as you can see now first thing you take note of is make sure your color profile is on adobe color and your white balance make sure that it's on as short so there is what that means normally now, if i'm to click here right now as you can see we have our auto if you can if you know your camera settings very well when it comes to white balance you will know about auto, about daylight, about cloudy, shade, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, the fluorescent, flash and custom. So once I click on my auto now, as you can see, it changed the color of the picture. And if you have to put your camera on auto and take this picture with your camera, this is the color is going to bring out. And also daylight, this is what it will bring, right? it will bring out a warm color. Uh, if it's on cloudy, these are the picture will come out straight from your camera if you are using the cloudy settings on your camera which is the white balance if you have to use use a shade these are going to come out on your pc on your camera it will be the direct image on your camera and if you have to use this also still the same thing just as like fluorescent too so these are going to come out on your camera so fluorescent also so they are so and so on and so forth you can also create a custom one but I will go to a shot this is what I will be making use of so firstly is for me to make some adjustments some basic adjustments over here I'm going to be reducing I will reduce the highlights a little bit my exposure is working like this my white I will reduce the white to a little bit my black I will increase my black a little bit to reduce the shadow in the picture then my check texture let me see if i have more texture here let me see if my picture has most much texture so that i can know no, i think the texture is okay the texture is okay right now so i'll leave the texture as it is my clarity my idea is okay i won't be making use of my vibrance or saturation for now so now let's jump into the main aspect of color grading so let's jump into that right now let's go to uh let's go to our hsl adjustments as you can see these are hsl adjustments over here so under the hsl adjustments we have the saturation which is this one we have the eu which is this and we have the luminance so i'm going to be showing you what uh they work for actually so let's go to you now the red now we have two colors here we have somehow like pink pinkish look and we also have the red and also the orange orange look so if I'm to drag this over here now, okay, let me zoom in so I can see what I'm talking about. As you can see, as you can see right now, if I'm to slide to this side, as you can see the color here changed to pink, and it only affects only this color. It's not tampering with the skin color or any other color there. So it's really affecting this color, this color alone, this red alone. So I have to drag to the other side. As you can see, it, br it brought a neutral color. As you can see right now. So you can see the difference. So when I go to the skin color also, right, you have to go to the skin color also. So the skin color too also have like two different color. We have the yellow, we have the orange. So I have to drag it to this side. As you can see right now, look at the color it brought for us. And you can see it's only tampering with the skin color, it's not touching any other thing there. So if I'm to drag it here, 
you can see it's bringing some like in my ma ma magenta is out as you can see so that's what it means for and when it comes to our yellow and green our yellow if i'm to slide my yellow down as you can see well we don't have much yellow yet so that's why i'm not seeing the effect but it's still showing a little bit and to drag it down it's bringing out a yellowish look on the leaves and stuff like that so if i'm to go to my green right now if i'm to drag it down as you can see instead of it to be showing green it's making our leaves turn yellow automatically as you can see right now if i'm to drag it up it's going to increase the green make it very very deep and if i'm to decrease it right now it's if you turn our green, it turns to yellow instantly. Same go for the aqua too. All the HS, all the U has two different colors here. So it depends on the one you want to use. So that's that for the Q. For the U, the saturation is just to increase uh, the saturation. We all know what saturation means. So I'm to click on the red now. As you can see, it brought more saturation on the red area, which is the lip and the uh, eyebrows, the eyelashes. I mean to say. As you can see if I'm to reduce it back to its normal position. Now let me work on the skin. If I'm to increase the skin, as you can see, it brought so much color and that's not what we need. Let us return it back to normal. And also the yellow, if I'm to increase the yellow also, it's the same thing will happen. Also the green too, as you can see right now. So color grading with camera roll, HSL adjustment. I think that's the best option for color grading without using a preset a uh, preset. You can as well save your setting as a preset once you're done with it. So, I think I like the color we just created right now. This color is okay. So, let me just make few adjustments. Before I make few adjustments, let me go to my luminance. Luminance is which will determine the brightness, how bright we want uh, the colors we, we are selecting to be. Like the skin now, if I want to darken the skin color, as you can see right now. As you can see. If you can just or you want to brighten it more one of the two as you can see any of the color here once you just turn the slider down you are decreasing if you turn it up you are increasing the brightness of the picture so that's that about hsl adjustment so now let me just increase my saturations a little bit the red a little bit the green let me turn it down a little bit if i want to turn the green all the way down this is the color we are going to have can see this is the same color I used in my previous video the one I did same outdoor so this is, the, this is what I did there I actually use the preset there so I'm just teaching you how to do that right now I have to turn it all the way up as you can see turn it all the way down it's going to keep all the, all the colors on the leaf but I don't want that I just want it around this and I'm going to increase my cyan also which is my aquas over here as you can see it's reflecting over here so, so far so good we've not made use of any preset any lots we just did what we can do using our camera roll so let us say we're done with this for now just click on our open so we are going to open it in, into our photoshop directly so we're going to finalize our settings here so we're done with this now next thing we are going to use is our selective color we can use the selective color too to also color grade our picture from neutral let's start from red uh, we can as well add some blue to the red, but that's not one to one. Let's just intensify the red a little bit to make the color pop. As you can see right now, let's turn it off and turn it on. As you can see, we are just popping up the colors on our, our image. So let's go to neutral. You can as well mess with this tool till you see P. Just keep on messing with it till you see you discover new things about all the settings. I'm on neutral now. If I'm to turn down the cyan, as you can see, the color is bringing your summer greenish. So let me just turn it, up, turn it up a little bit. We can see right now our image is looking nice. So just mess with it as you can. As you can see, we collaborated this picture without using making use of any lots or any presets. We did it using camera raw selective color. You can also go to your hue and saturation. And make use of any settings there. Make use of any settings there. As you can see, turn the slider on, turn the slider down. 
So thanks for watching, watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you have any question, you can contact me uh, in the comments.